Yo, what Ajmal did with this fragrance, I don't even wanna call this a clone. I've refused to call this joint a clone because they managed to take a DNA that's established. It's pretty much Oud for Greatness and Haltain and make their own budget version. But this budget version has this stellar quality about it and the scent itself is not only a hybrid, tries to develop its own DNA that smells ridiculous on my skin right now. What, what is it? Let's just roll my music so I can put you onto this Ajmal fragrance. This is by far one of the best ones that I've smelled. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Yo, I'm wearing this fragrance right now. I've been testing it out for two days just to get the feel, the energy, what type of vibe. Is it truly an interpretation of either Oud for Greatness or Haltain? What are we doing here, Ajmal? Ajmal is known for pulling out bangers with good quality at a budget price point. They do have some clone inspired fragrances, but this one isn't a full blown Initio Oud for Greatness, nor is it in a full blown Haltain. It has its own personality mimicking these two in that space. But on the skin, bro, on the skin. Ajmal's song for Oud is wildly good off of my skin. If you know these two fragrances, then yes, you will get the DNA. It's in that space, it's in that bubble. It is clone-esque. It is inspired by, but the quality of this juice is Stupid. Wow, that's some nose you got. I'm gonna reapply it again as to wear it. Look, I dropped it on the floor on my tile. Look, I dented every fucking corner of this shit, bro. I just wanna live in this scent. It is such a beautiful apple lavender combination. So soft and comforting. It is having the best, lushiest, snuggliest blanket sprinkled with the most delicate, creamy oud. It manages to somehow have this beautiful pillow puffiness of musky iris and the amber at the base complements the fragrance wholeheartedly. This is beautiful. It's not a beast fragrance. It has moderate performance. It lives around that seven and a half hour mark. At least that's what it's done for me. And my skin is a little bit choppy. Sometimes it'll perform very well, but most of the time it just manages to just get fragrances, let it saturate into my pores and just dissipate. This one did not have any of that energy and it lives under a hundred bucks. This fragrance is so nice, bro. I'm telling you. Like, there are other Oud for Greatness clones, like Oud for Glory or whatever, and that's fine. Great fragrance as well. But the quality in Song for Oud is perfect. There is no harshness at all off of my skin. It's just buttery, powdery, lavendery, citric smooth. All those little nuances, the brightness is bright. Perfect, no harsh, no sharp, no sour. The lavender here is fresh, clean, and it smells like true lavender. How does it smell like true lavender for me? I have a fucking lavender plant. Got a garden now. There's a garden. A garden? The musk and the iris powderiness is a vibe. It is a full sex appeal, comforting fragrance that I absolutely think that they home run can griffy this shit out of the park. I just want to respray. I need to have this live in my soul. I don't know what it is, maybe the type of time or energy I've been on a couple last couple days, but this gives me all the little goose pimpies that I need. Money, just straight money goose pimpies. The oud here is just, bro, the pimps, dogs. The pimples should tell you everything. When you get goosebumps on a fragrance, you can't cap on goosebumps, dogs. This is so... Nice, so well done. I will go out on a limb and say there's some elements that I prefer over Oud for Greatness. It just works off my skin 1 billion percent. Again, we're talking about spicy, apple, lavender, musk, powdery, ginger. It's beautiful, refined, clean, with body. Slow clap for Aj Mall. Aj Mall, since the first time that I've ran through Aj Mall and I got that fucking, what was it, Amber Wood, I knew it would be a problem. They continue to bring that energy. That is delicious, absolutely a ball spray. I'm going all up in the taint with this piece. I did a double ball spray. All the vibes in the world. This is very good, guys. I'm just 
putting it out there. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not for you, whatever. At least you didn't break the bank if you went that. Oh my God, now I'm getting candy, like a mild candy vibe. A little soft BR540 candy essence, like a sublim. It's gotta be from the Apple. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. If you find it, if you find it, I'll put a link in the description. If you find it, all I'm saying is give it a sniff. <laughs> I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Jesus Christ. Smooch. don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk on my mom's crib. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would. <laughs>